I just want to quote um, Francis Elliott writing in The Times, in the aftermath of the most spectacular self-immolation in British political history, it is hard to reconcile the magnitude of the rise with the squalor of his fall. Um, you know, this was a man who had everything at his feet. They were riding away, talking about three terms. Did they just get cocky, Rachel? No, I think they just ran out of um, media road to ride on. I think that, look, we've been here before. If we pan wider, we've had quite a few years of this, haven't we? We've had Cameron being the best thing that could ever happen. And obviously, you know, full disclosure, I'm never going to vote for a Conservative, right? I think that's fairly plain. I'm not sure our audience would have guessed. No, I know it's a huge shock, <laughs> massive shock. But we had Cameron, who was going to be the great Prime Minister against David uh, Ed Miliband. And then we had Theresa May, again, puffed up to be this brilliant, amazing person. Turns out she wasn't. And then Boris Johnson, what a surprise. The man that everyone said was a lying incompetent turned out to be a lying, corrupt, incompetent. And so we've had year upon year upon year of this. We've had a media political system that puffs up these conservatives because the conservatives being in power is more important than the well-being of the of the entire country and when when is that going to run out of road well when yes yeah, so when when